Welcome to the shooting show. This week we bring you a wet and windy wildfowling experience from Orkney. Plus we bring you all the latest news from the shooting world. Sean, my brother dearest, is on his annual goose pilgrimage to Orkney. On arrival it's Sunday and there's no shooting, so Sean joins Ray Waters, their goose guide for the week, to scout some likely fields that geese have been coming in to feed on. <coughs> the forecast is for light wind, which will keep the geese high, giving them plenty of time to circle before committing to land. The blinds will have to be perfectly positioned and hidden. Eight, eight to go like that. Okay. Yeah. This particular field has seen the geese land in the adjacent grass field then glide over onto the freshly cut stubbles. With plenty of geese showing, the plan is set. Yeah, they're just dropping in now. That's pink feet that's dropping in. Ray will return after dark and set out the lay down blinds in the straw rows. It's a big task. Six guns, one guide, and a cameraman need hiding from the geese. Some good cover there, though, for the uh, hides, isn't it? For the blinds? Yeah. 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 Yeah, they're moving across now, aren't they? Yeah. Well, we've seen plenty of geese in the field there yesterday, so we should hopefully go and back up. Do okay. We'll see. <laughs> just went out last night and set up with vines and we're. Uh, Any deeks out? Not yet, no. I've no, put, okay. I've put them out now. So. And you were maybe saying that if the wind was different, we might sort of have a shift about. Yeah, well, <laughs> I think we will have to move the vines a bit. Yeah, okay. This morning, so. Plenty of time though, what, we've got an hour till light? Yeah. yeah. As the guns make their way up the field with their kit, Ray takes a bag of decoys up to be set out. The wind does not look favourable, but hopefully some geese will present over the deeks. Carly is the first to climb into her blind and is pleasantly surprised after an evening dreading the thought of a straw blind full of spiders. You got you got cartridges and stuff in your cat bag? Yeah. Yeah. You got, take your cartridges and just put them inside. 
beside you. If there's, yeah. You can put the bag in behind you then if you want. Yeah. Yeah. Can't they? I don't know, I'm just chilling out, eh? They're, they're comfy, aren't they? I don't mind it, I think it's like less scary than I thought it was going to be. Yeah, the, do you know what, they're quite, you know, they keep the I rain off I thought it was going to be really claustrophobic, but I don't feel like it's too bad. Yeah, well, to, maybe it's open though. <laughs> if we get these set up on a field tomorrow yeah. night, you know, you can maybe then, have, you know, instead of having to get up early, we'll just fetch you a coffee in the morning and we'll just yeah, open just your hide up. Yeah, Yeah. Yeah, I'll, I, that, that's, that sounds like a good plan. It was it yesterday said there was an electric plank in it and I was like, oh my god, is they really? <laughs> I'm trying to have two kind of small groups here and hopefully geese come in over that end of the blind and yeah. hopefully drop into the the gap between the two yeah. arches of geese. Everything is set, now we just need some geese. A scouting bird circles, scrutinising the fields and the decoys. If this bird pitches in, the plan has worked. Ray is tucked in behind the guns and you can hear him calling, giving extra draw to the field. We sped the sequence up to show the geese as they spend time circling above on the low wind, assessing the field. They're still too high, but some shots may be imminent. Ray hides the lone goose under the straw and all retreat back into their blinds as more geese can be heard in the distance. The main camera captures the four geese as the turtle hits five. BB's worked. Yeah. BB's, what did you go, 42s? Yeah. Yeah. It's just in case because them greys are going so high, aren't they? Yeah, I just took the BB's in, but... That's a good one, yeah. yeah. Look how small that one is, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, geese, just at northwest of us there. Good. Yeah. Ray calls time. The conditions have proved difficult today and it was a reasonable bag in the circumstances. The last job of the morning is to gather up the blinds and decoys. Then it's time to have breakfast, clean up and get ready for the evening flight. Well, the camera show. Wild rock, wild rock. Orkney can be wild and the wind is putting in appearance as Ray gets everyone into position for the evening flight. Ducks and geese are on the target list. Yeah, we'll just set 
sand here just now. We've got a wee while now, it's brightened up again. The first shots don't find their mark. Conditions look good, but the night is closing in fast. Filming is all but impossible now as a small group of ducks flash over. It's been another tough session with the conditions making every shot a challenge, but the guns did well and earned every bird shot. You got the layout blinds into position, Ray? Yeah, I went out the, on the Sunday night and got all the lay down blinds in position. Six lay down blinds, one behind for me and one for each shooter. One for each shooter, and we had to hide the, yourself and the and this draw, which is this a task draw, in itself. And well, what did we end up with? Five. Five, five this morning. Five this morning. Yeah. yeah. And um, yeah, then we we came out this evening onto onto this pond, and what did we get? Another five geese and five geese and five geese and four ducks. Four ducks. Four ducks. And then the rain came in real bad, didn't it? Luckily, yeah. it's just it's just blown off now for us to just when we finished. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, con conditions in the morning was poor, there was no wind, so it, it, it weren't the best, but then it freshened on for the evening flight, and uh, yeah, it was good, and then it's just dropped back up, back off now to nothing. Yeah. Yeah, this evening was, I found really exciting just with them coming in on that wind, and it was my first time using the Ely Lightning Steel 36 gram 3s, and never really been a fan of steel cartridges, but they did the job this evening. Yeah. Um, killed really well. Some nice long range ducks and some nice geese. So yeah, happy happy with them. Three inch cartridge and really did the job well. So. Yeah, proper wild fowling, all enjoyable. And yes. Sean's just had a message from the the other crew that were out. They've yeah. got on real well this evening. Yeah, the other lads as well. The eighteen geese and seven ducks. Uh, there was uh, run out of cartridges. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers, Rick. It's been good. No problem. Thank you very much. As always. Thank you. It's really Cheers. enjoyed my first proper wild fowling experience. That's fine.
And while we leave Stuart to dry off there, here's the Shooting Show News. This is the Shooting Show News. It's your last chance to bag a Black Friday bargain on a subscription to the best shooting magazines on the market. Sporting Rifle, Air Gun Shooter and Clay Shooting have all slashed their prices on a subscription, meaning you could save up to 52% on the cover price as well as getting the magazines delivered to your door. Black Friday might be three days ago now, but the offer lasts until midnight tonight, so be quick. Head to myfavouritemagazines.co.uk Yet another petition to get driven grouse shooting banned has been shot down by the government. This new petition has passed 10,000 signatures, though it took a lot longer to do so than the previous anti-shooting petition that triggered a government debate. The government has already responded and backed grouse shooting for the economic and conservation benefits it provides. And it categorically stated that grouse shoots do not receive any government subsidies, disproving a claim made by many antis. There's an update on the proposed ban on 50 calibre rifles, and it might not just be 50 cals at risk. The proposals have been extended to include other similar high-power long-range rifles, and the Home Office is considering imposing a 10,000 foot-pound energy limit. There's still no explanation of how the ban is expected to contribute to public safety. You've still got time to respond to the consultation on these plans. Head to the address on screen now to register your views. And finally, if you're a professional keeper or game manager, you need to get yourself to a new one-day conference covering the pressing issues surrounding game shooting. Game 2018 takes place on the 1st of March next year at the GWCT's headquarters in Fordingbridge. The day will include industry leaders speaking on the challenges and opportunities facing game shoots, with the chance to ask questions and learn about the latest research techniques that could improve keepers' work. Head to the GWCT website for more information. That was the Shooting Show News. Well, that's it for this week. Thanks for watching. Please like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. And if you're not a member of Basque, it's time to join now. Basque, looking after your sport, looking after you. This has been The Shooting Show.